Hi, welcome to Knowing Him. It's Pastor Mark. I want to encourage you today. I want to talk to you about, just real briefly, I want to encourage you to, to be able to receive the promises that God has for you. One of my favorite scriptures, and uh, if you're familiar, obviously, with my life and ministry, I talk about this all the time. This is the scripture that the Lord taught me to walk by faith. It's 1 John 5, 14 and 15. And this is the confidence that I have in Him. That if I ask anything according to His will, He hears us. But, and if we know that He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we've desired of Him. We have the petitions. We have the petitions. We have them. You know, uh, Mark 11, uh, 24, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, Mark 11, 23, 24, Whatever things you desire when you pray, believe you receive them and you shall have them. So I know I don't want anyone to tune me out because you say, well, yeah, I know that. But listen, there are some very definite things the Lord is doing to position you to receive. And if you'll do these things, you'll be positioned to receive uh, what he has for you. Um, God's not trying to keep anything from you. So it says this is the confidence that we have in him. Confidence in God is gained from knowing the next part. This is the confidence that I have in him, that if I ask anything according to his will, when you know what the answer is before you ask it, you have great confidence. Now, my wife's not in here while I'm, oh, I'm ministering to you, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about my high school days. In high school, I was never, ever turned down for a date, 100%. Every time I ever ask a girl out, 100%, she said yes, because this is what I did. We didn't call them wingmen back in the day, but what we called them was best friends. And the best friend would go check with the girl to see if he asked you out, will you go? And so I had great confidence when I approached her because I knew she was going to say yes. And so 100 percent is pretty good. And so what happened, I don't know if that's the best way to do it. I know friends of mine who they didn't really care. Uh, they just, you know, they just ask. But but the point is, um, you can have that kind of confidence. I know that's a silly story, but you can have that kind of confidence when you come to God, because if I already know the answer, I have great confidence. I have great confidence when I approach him because I know if I approach him and I need finances, if I approach him and I need healing, if I approach him and I need peace, if I approach him and I need him uh, to help in any area of my life, I already know the answer. And so this is the confidence that I have in him, that if I ask anything according to his will. So what is the will of God? Well, the word of God is the will of God. And so if I can find it in the word, then I know it's his will. A lot of times people today, they just really don't know what the will of God is. They really don't know, is this for me or is this not for me? Am I supposed to have this or not have this? Uh, and, and, and really the word of God, especially the epistles, really just clearly tell you what the will of God is. And since I know the will of God, I know that by the stripes of Jesus, I've been healed. I know that my God supplies all of my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I know that Jesus is my peace. I know that I'm supposed to have joy unspeakable, full of glory. I know that I'm supposed to have a strong marriage. I know my children are supposed to be serving the Lord. I know all these things because it's written. And since I know that it's written, I know I have the answer. So when I come to him, this is the confidence that I have in him, that if I ask anything according to his will, I know that he hears me. That word here is not a physical hearing. That word here is like standing before a judge and a jury, he, like, hear, like a hearing. And you see, if I come to this hearing prepared with the word of God, I have a document that says, what the outcome should be. I'm going to win my case. And so this is like a legal thing that God wants to give you. But if you come with the word of God, which is the source document of what he has promised you, then he hears you. And if you know that he hears you, you know you're going to get it. So I want to encourage you, know the will of God, know the word of God, go to the throne with confidence and ask and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Till next time, this is Pastor Mark. I want you to know him so you too can make him known.